Hi, I'm Nicholas Hassan, the Secretary General's Special Representative for South Sudan and Head of the United Nations Peacekeeping Mission, UNMIS. Every year on the 8th of March, we celebrate International Women's Day. We do so to remind ourselves of the obvious. Achieving gender equality remains one of our greatest human rights challenges. Women constitute 50% of any society, but too often they are left behind in taking decisions that impact them directly. This needs to change because we must tap into the collective wisdom of all humankind to become the best versions of ourselves and build a better world. One in which everybody, men and women alike, are treated with equal dignity and respect. In South Sudan, women and girls have been disproportionately affected by the conflict. They've endured unspeakable violence, missed out on school, opportunities to build skills and to be economically empowered. Vitally, they are still struggling to be fully included in politics, governance and decision making. As this young nation gears up for its first elections as a sovereign state, women must have a real say in the drafting of the permanent constitution and fully participate in the electoral process. To achieve this, they need support. This year's national theme for Women's Day, Accelerate Gender Inclusion and Access to Productive Resources for Women and Girls, acknowledges that need by urging us to address gender discrimination, to spend on programs shoring up women and girls, and ensure laws, policies, budgets and investments are responsive to their requirements too. At UNMIS, gender equality lies at the heart of everything we do, be it our efforts to help build lasting peace, protect civilians, uphold human rights, or deliver life-saving humanitarian aid to the most vulnerable. Importantly, we consistently strive to include more women in our own ranks, since as a peacekeeping mission, we must mirror the communities we are on the ground to serve. I'm proud to say that our female peacekeepers make us more effective on the ground and demanding female inclusion is not an act of charity but of more effective impact. On this International Women's Day, we stand with the women and girls of South Sudan. We'll continue to support them in achieving their potential because their progress is everyone's progress. I thank you.